This is the 2018 BMW 4 Series convertible. It starts with everything that's great about the 4 Series coupe, the sporty performance, the luxury amenities, and the windswept good looks, especially in this very cool 1980s blue. But then it adds a retractable hardtop. Of course, adding that convertible top comes with a couple of compromises, including increased weight and reduced trunk space. But we'll talk about that after we hit the road and see how it drives. Now this BMW 430i that we're in right now is powered by a two liter twin turbocharged four cylinder engine that makes 248 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. That's a decent amount of power whether you're talking about commuting or hustling up a country road like we are now. And that power is gonna make it to the rear wheels via an eight speed automatic transmission. That's the only gearbox available to the 4 Series convertible, and it's pretty good, but if you're the kind of person that likes to row your own gears, you're gonna be stuck dealing with either paddle shifters or stepping down to the coupe. Of course, if you're the kind of person that wants the manual transmission, you're probably an enthusiast, which means that the coupe offers a number of other advantages over the convertible. For starters, it's around 460 pounds lighter. All of the mechanics of the convertible top and the extra chassis stiffening to keep this car from feeling like a wet noodle compared to the coupe, which has a structural roof, means that you get a whole lot more weight added to the package. And you can really feel that weight, whether you're accelerating from a stop or tossing this thing into a corner. There's even a little bit of difference between top up when the weight is more upright and further forward in the car and when the top's down and the weight sits further back and lower to the ground, but you get a little bit of what feels like aerodynamic lift compared to the coupe. Basically, either way you slice it, the convertible feels maybe less responsive and less planted than the coupe does, especially at high speeds. There's nothing you can really do about that. It's just the laws of physics. You can kind of mitigate some of the extra weight by sort of stepping up to the 440i, which has a more powerful six cylinder engine that outputs 320 horsepower and around 330 pound feet of torque. But there's not a whole lot that you can do to deal with the handling compromises that you have to make, short of stepping up to an all wheel drive system or BMW's adaptive suspension. But either way, you're gonna be adding weight to the package, which kind of defeats the purpose. So if you're gonna go convertible, I'd recommend that you just sort of relax into its more laid back driving character. A convertible is a lifestyle vehicle. It's more about enjoying the open air and the sun on your face and the open road and less about shaving seconds off of your lap time. Then again, BMW builds an M4 version of the convertible. So what do I know? I guess there's no performance issue that can't be solved by throwing money at the problem. That said, this is still based on BMW's 4 Series. It's one of BMW's best performance platforms in recent history. And even with the compromises, we're still talking about a really fun to drive car that has very responsive performance, very nice handling. I'm just kind of nitpicking for the coupe crowd. Now in the cabin, we've got the same suite of driver aid tech that's available to the coupe, though not necessarily equipped on this example. And in the dashboard, we've got the latest generation of BMW's iDrive dashboard tech. We've talked about it extensively in other videos, but the short is that we really like the system. It's good, but it's a really great system if you have an iPhone and you can gain access to the optional Apple CarPlay, some of the iPhone specific options for this vehicle. If you're an Android user, don't hold your breath for Android Auto. BMW has no plans to support it. The rest of the cabin is luxuriously appointed as the rest of the 4 Series line. I really like this tan on teal color scheme we've got going on here. It goes great with my 80s stash. One feature that I really like that's specific to the convertible is the neck warmer. It's a feature similar to something we first saw in Mercedes-Benz's convertible, their air scarf system, and it's basically a heater in the seat that blows warm air over your neck while you're driving. That, combined with conventional heated seating surfaces, makes for really nice open air driving on a clear but perhaps brisk morning. Now speaking of features that are specific to the convertible, let's talk about that top. BMW says that it'll go from up to down in around 20 seconds, but the last time I brought it from down to up, I clocked it at around 27 seconds from the moment I grabbed the toggle until the moment that the windows had come back up. Still, that's pretty quick and pretty convenient, especially considering you can do it while the car is moving at speeds of up to around 11 miles per hour, basically at parking lot speeds. Now, the advantage of a hard top is that this is basically a four season car. 
spring, summer, or fall, you can drop the top on a nice day, but even when the weather's not nice, you don't really get a lot of the trade-offs that you get from a rag top convertible. So when it's raining, you don't get a whole lot of extra noise. Uh, when it's cold outside, it's still nice and warm here in the cabin. And at highway speeds with the top up, this car is as quiet as the coupe. There's almost no comfort trade-off for going with a convertible. Almost. One question that you kind of have to ask is, where do you put all of this metal and glass when you put the top down? In a four-seater convertible like the 4 Series, it has to go in the trunk. And that means that you're going to be left with not a whole lot of cargo space underneath all of the mechanisms. You got about room for maybe two carry-on bags back there, and even then it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get access to when the top's down, and it requires a bit more sort of mechanical gymnastics to move those panels up and out of the way so you can get access to your cubby hole. Of course, when you put the top up, you gain a lot of that space back, and the 4 Series boasts around 13 cubic feet of storage when its divider is up and out of the way. Of course, you're going to want to make sure you put that divider down when you're not using it because, of course, the convertible top doesn't work when it's up, and there's nothing more annoying than having to get out of your car and go back there and put it down when you want to drop the top. And you're going to want to make very sparing use of the space outside of that divider because anything you leave out there is going to get crushed when you drop the top. Of course, another compromise that comes with choosing the convertible is that all of this extra complexity costs more to engineer and manufacture, so the 4 Series convertible is going to cost you a bit more. So let's talk about the price. The 2018 BMW 4 Series convertible starts at around $52,000. Now that's like a 10 grand premium over the coupe version. It's going to get you a lot more weight, which is going to cost you in performance, and a lot less trunk space when you have the top down. And again, a convertible is more of an experience car, not a performance car. If you've got the dough to spend, it's not a terrible way to go. Now, as a fan of convertibles, I think an open road and open air is the best combination, so I'm just going to enjoy it for a while. So there you have it, BMW 430i convertible. Let us know down in the comments below what's your favorite luxury sport convertible, or better yet, just tell us what you think about this blue. I think it's pretty dope. While you're down there, be sure to hit the subscribe button and visit us at theroadshow.com.